just uh, played Stoke, obviously, last week. And, um, yeah, I can't remember doing it, but um, ended up just breaking breaking my hand in the middle of my, my hand. And um, thought I'd dislocated my, uh, my finger at the time. Um, so just try to, like... Yeah, I just uh, played Stoke, obviously, last week, and um, yeah, I can't remember doing it, but um, ended up just breaking breaking my hand in the middle of my, my hand, and um, thought I'd dislocated my uh, my finger at the time, um, so just try to like sort it out myself a bit of DIY, and um, yeah, just managed to finish the game, played the game on, and um, a bit sore after the game, and then uh, went for an X-ray the next day, and. Um, Found out, yeah, I broke it, uh, snapped both of the, the bone here, but um, yeah, I just um, spoke to, obviously went for the x-ray and uh, at first they were talking about surgery and stuff and then um, just before I spoke to the hand surgeon, I was like, don't particularly want to do that. Um, I want to get his opinion first before I, I, I do anything and uh, I went and spoke to him and just said, listen, you know, if there's a chance of me playing, I just want to play, carry on playing. Um, if that's at all possible, I don't want to have surgery, I'd rather just just take the risks, I suppose, and just crack on. And um, yeah, he see the X-ray and was like, "Yeah, no, I think we can, I think we can do that." So um, I think if it wouldn't have been the middle of my finger where it's protected by the other two, I think uh, I might have, you know, might have had surgery and been out for a bit. But um, yeah, fingers crossed with this now, I can, um, you know, just resume training, playing, and, and, and carrying on. So um, yeah, it works out well in the end. Is it a bit of a gamble then? Maybe you'll only know on Saturday whether you've made the right decision. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a gamble. I had a good conversation with him, the the hand surgeon. He said it's uh, he's seen this injury a few times and people have played with it. So um, yeah, I think naturally when you when you play, uh, you never know what could happen. Obviously, I didn't. That was such a freak injury when I done it. So, um, but yeah, no, uh, he was he was pretty confident. I re-X-rayed yesterday and um, it's healing already really well. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I've got no I've got no question that I can I can just carry on playing. And uh, I did say that to him. I said like you know, is there certain Things I need to kind of try and you know if it, you know land a certain way or anything like that, but now he just said just 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 play as if it's as if you've got nothing there and just and just play normally. So um, yeah, as long as I, as long as I, as soon as I heard that, I was I was buzzing and um, yeah, I just can't wait to get going. It's sort of a strange start to this uh, qualifying campaign. Is that you're used to them and as everybody is in September. Yeah. But here you are pitching up in the middle of a, a promotion running with Derby County, as a lot of the boys are in the championship. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it is a little bit strange in that sense. Um, like I say, only nine games to go for us in the in the in the league, and you know it's going going to go down to the wire in that sense of getting into the playoffs. But um, I think for us, probably at the time at Derby, the international breaks probably come at a decent time. Went through a bit of a sticky patch. The last three games have been a lot more positive for us. But um, I think we played that many games. I think um, Derby with the cup runs and that is probably good for quite a few of the lads to mentally just probably get away from it all and, and, and have a decent break. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it's, you know, it's, it's great meeting up with, with, with my country and uh, obviously especially under the new management staff. And um, like I say, the qualifiers, there's nothing better when you're playing you know, um, competitive games. And um, yeah, so yeah, I just think there's a real buzz and a real excitement about it. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to, to a good week's training and just trying to get off to a good start on the, on the weekend. Josh, tell us about your call-up. How did you hear about this? Yeah, um, it comes as a surprise, really. Um, obviously, I see the, the provisional squad and, and I wasn't named in it. Um, and then Friday morning, um, before we were due to meet up on a Sunday, uh, Lee Bowyer sort of caught me in the, in the boot room as we were about to go out to train and he just said, oh, have you, have you heard the good news? And I said, no, like, what's that? And he said, oh, um, Mick McCarthy's just, just been on the phone and... Um, he's going to call you into the squad. Um, so obviously I was buzzing with the news and I'm and, and really happy to to be called up for the first time um, to the senior team for my country. So, um, no, yeah, it was, it was brilliant news. You played under 16s for England, is that right I'm saying, and under 21s for Ireland, uh, like another West Ham player. Did you have sort of a decision that you had to make at some stage? And how did it come to it? Uh, not really. Um, I, pl I played, yeah, under 16, one appearance for England. Um, and then, um, yeah, I played under 19s European qualifiers for, for Ireland, um, 
and then captained the 21s and, and made a lot of appearances for the 21s. Um, as soon as uh, I committed myself to Ireland, um, I was fully committed and yeah, this is this is what I've dreamt of being being part of the, the senior squad and, and I'm over the moon and, and really proud to be here. Richard, uh, last year, at the end of last year, it was pretty miserable in the airport. Your Irish national team, can you feel Mick has really made a concerted effort to prove, prove, try and prove tomorrow for ourselves? Yeah, listen, I think... <coughs> The way it ended, you know, like last year for, for, for us wasn't wasn't a, wasn't a great year. I think we can all you know, hold our hands up to that. And um, you know, as players, we've got to take responsibility. We could have we could have performed a lot better. But um, yeah, I just think I just think now it's whatever has happened in the past is in the past now. Um, obviously, Mick's coming in. He's a you know a fantastic manager, a fantastic guy. Obviously, his his, his record, you know, not just for Ireland but uh, at a club level is is, is very good and. Um, yeah, I can just you know just walking into the group. I think there's a good you know vibe. There's a really good excitement about it. Um, so yeah, I just think like I say, what, whatever's happened in the past, in the past now, we just got to look to look to this campaign and look to the future. And um, like I say, with a few new like new guys coming in who, de who deserve their chance, um, it's up to us now as players to, to, to really try and step up and, and, and have a have a really good qualifying campaign. And throwing a game against the Denmark team, which I know Ireland struggled to to beat, and all the draws in that for mm. also against the Swiss team. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think I think the group is tough. Listen, there's no, there's no, there's never going to be an, an easy group when you're trying to qualify for a major championship. But um, you know, we, we, we showed in the uh, in the last qualifying month of the Euros that um, people wrote us off in, in that group, and uh, we managed to qualify. So uh, it's going to be tough. But if you if you want to achieve something great, you know, nothing comes easy, and you've got to work for it, and you've got to, you've got to fight for every every point and um, so yeah for us it's uh, playing against you know them, them teams but um, I think we're confident we, we're confident that we can we do something great in this group and like I say it's up to us now as players to, to take on what the manager wants and you know we just got to give it everything and uh, if we can do that you know I'm pretty confident we can have a good campaign. Well, the fact that the target of the tournament is in Dublin next time is that kind of in the back of your mind as well? Yeah I think that is motivation you know that would be amazing as, a, as any player to to play a major championship in, uh, in in your in your home country, it's, it's something that you do you do think about for sure. And then, if anything, if the lads want to use that as, as motivation, then, then then we should because you know these things don't come around too often. So um, you know, like I say, as us as players, we've got to, we've got to use it you know everything we can to to really go for it. And um, but yeah, like you say, that is definitely motivation for us. Richard, is a healthy battle for places at centre half. Where do you see yourself? In you have to ask the manager, I think. <laughs> but um, yeah, listen, I think um, you know, in regards to that, I think obviously we've got we've got we've got great players, not just at centre back, but, but but everywhere. I think there's a lot of competition for places. Everyone's you know playing a lot of football, playing playing well. Um, so yeah, whoever whoever you know gets a shirt um, for the weekend and, and, and looking forward is is down to them to try and keep it. But um, I think if you ask any manager, it's good that you've got competition in places because you you know that means. Pushing each other and trying to get to, 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 to your level where you need to, to compete at. So, um, yeah, listen, I, I don't know, but all I know is, you know, uh, whenever I've played for Ireland, I feel like I've done I've done well. Um, and like I say, this season for Derby, I'm having a I'm having a good season. So um, that's all I can do. And like I say, work hard in training. And um, like I say, at the end of the day, the manager will pick the, the, the team that he feels can win the game. Mm. Um, I think if you look at the players, you know, obviously probably me, Eve, Duffs, um, Long E, we've all we're all pretty comfortable in, in either system. So um, I think it's definitely probably an option for the manager to do that if he wants to. But like I say, I'm pretty sure he's got his own his own method about how he wants to, wants the team to play and how it needs to look. So um, yeah, I think I think either way is really comfortable for me. I, I quite enjoy playing in either system. But um, like I say, it's down to the manager and like us as players, we just got to show him that we. We're ready for selection and um, and, and show them why we want to play. Richard, last Monday we talked about the Sunday match and the strength of the match and John O'Shea wrote it and so yeah. on. Do you see that as a, as a key part of your role, particularly with some of the injured players coming in? I think, I think more so this season. I think I, I have, I, when he when he said that, I could I could relate to that a lot. Um, you know, to, to be, you know, compared to Shazy was, was, was obviously a nice touch from the manager to say that because. I learned a lot from Shazie when I first got into the squad, and he was such a great, great, great man, great player. Just how he conducted himself on the on the training pitch and, the, and around the place was, uh, 
you know, it was great for me to see and, you know, I definitely picked up a lot of things from him. So, um, but yeah, I think this season, not probably just in Ireland, but a derby as well. I think, you know, with a lot of younger players coming through, I think you naturally, as a more of a senior player, I think you, you naturally take on that role. I think it's something that I've probably done probably subconsciously throughout my career, even when I was a little bit younger, being a captain and stuff. I think naturally you just take on that, on that role a little bit more. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd agree. I think, I think definitely more th this time in the, in the squad. Um, I see myself doing that a lot more. Yeah, it's been great. Um, the career he had, I think, speaks for itself. Um, so to go and, and learn under a manager like that, um, it's been fantastic. Um, obviously, played a, a, silly, uh, a similar position to me. Um, so yeah, it's just been great to to learn off him. Um, it's been yeah, like I said, fantastic. It's been brilliant for me. Um, he's, he's allowed me to come and play a lot of games and. Um, I've, I've learned a lot, of, a lot of him from from the time I played under him. Yeah, he's he's surprisingly quite a calm guy. Um, he's definitely got that edge to him. Um, so I think that's good for for players. It um, it makes sure that you're on your toes and and you can't drop off the levels that and the standards that he sets and, and we set as a group. So yeah, he's. Um, like I said, he's got that fiery side to him, like you said. Um, but he's he's quite a calm guy um, in and around the place, and and he's he's, he's a good man to work to work under. Now, Richard, somebody who's not in the squad at the moment, uh, who's retired, Stephen Ward. Uh, were you surprised that he went? And what are your memories of playing him in the race? Yeah, um, I think obviously maybe there was a little bit of surprise. Obviously, he's worked with with Mick before, hasn't he? And, and done so well for him, so. I thought that maybe he would have uh, stayed, maybe for this campaign, maybe and just and try to try to stay with us. But I think obviously with his injuries and that, I think I think his knee. I think you know he probably felt it was time um, for him to maybe step step away. And um, obviously with the younger lads coming through as well, I think he just thought it was probably the right time. And um, but yeah, he was such a great guy, Wardy. You know, like I played with him for the younger age groups coming through, and then to play with him the seniors and. Um, yeah, he had a he had a fantastic career for Ireland, and um, you know to get to fifty caps, it was you know you, you don't do that by chance. You do that by playing well and, and wanting to represent your country and, 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 and playing at a good level. So um, you know it's, we're going to miss him in the group because he was a great character. But um, like I say, uh, uh, good luck to him because like I say, he had a he had a great career, and um, yeah, he was a, he was a great man. Okay, lads, thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.